Hey, what's up, Hot 97.5, Ronnie Jr., hello, uh, from right this minute, Christian Vera. Que pasa? What's up, guys? Um, quickly, tell us about the show, because we're going to get into all that. What, in a, in a nutshell, what is the show about? So, right this minute is the viral video show. So, when you want to know what's happening on the internet, the latest, greatest, and the story behind those videos, Probably you weirdest have to too. check in. The weirdest, for sure the weirdest. Yeah. We have a lot of weird on the show, starting with the hosts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we get you the story behind it. Um, before you, videos and stories show up on your timeline, right. we've probably already had them on the show. So if you want to be on top of it, you got to watch That's right why it's called Right This Minute. I want to talk to you in a bit about like how the show's blowing up because mm -hmm. you've been here at least five years. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll get into that. You also brought some videos for us to kind of look at and play with, which is I awesome. Did. But first, let's get to know about you. Um, we know each other through way of Los Angeles as we yeah. both worked at the same job, um, kind of crossing paths. Anyways, now we're both in Arizona. Yeah, it's Me, awesome. Me, brand new. You, five years. Yeah, I moved here five years ago in 2011 for the show. It was a brand new idea, brand new concept, and they uh, they found me in LA, which is where I was working at the okay. time. Um, and I moved here five years ago. I was I didn't know anybody here. Yeah. I was so scared. And not only that, you just experienced this. I moved. <laughs> well, I moved here. on July fifteenth. Yes, moved. July eighteenth, I think, was the like, date. Like who does that except for us ridiculous you people? You have to be kind <laughs> of questionable up here to yeah. do that. But yeah, I I moved here. I remember it was so hot. But it's monsoon season, so we're getting yeah. rain, and there's dust, and there's wind, but it's still hot. My brain couldn't compute. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? I cried in my hotel room that night. Really? I went home, I called my girlfriend, I said, I don't know what I'm doing. But it's been great. I freaking love Phoenix. Right. I think it's such a great city. Um, and, and in the last too. five years, it has grown so much, especially the downtown area. I'm a bit of a foodie. And so Good. all yeah. the culinary, the culinary world <laughs> the around culinary? Here? Did you make that word up? The culinary? No, but cool it is restaurants. culinary culinary I know it's like world. mad corny. I'm sorry about <laughs> it. It is, but whatever. I just, I thought you made up that word. I was like, that's awesome. No. Culinary. culinary. Yeah, the world of food in Phoenix is so... Yeah you know, on point. There's I'm so surprised. many great restaurants, so many really well-known chefs as well that are that are really kicking butt here. I'm surprised nobody has a blog out there of what you're talking about. Like, I actually want to create one of my own, which would be called, like, Filling Phoenix or Finding Phoenix. Like, along, along, we'll, we'll create it, actually. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. So Arizona, what, are, what food places are you talking about? Like, where would you recommend um, that you just enjoy going to. So my list is like this long. Yeah. It's very long because there's, like I said, a lot of really great places, but there's some spots around downtown that I really like. For example, if you like uh, sushi, I love sushi. Okay, okay. I like a place called Hana, but then there's also Squid Ink, which is really yummy downtown. Yeah. I think I live mm. near there, yeah, so I've you been do. seeing, I've been, I believe, it sounds very familiar when you, yeah. you said that, yeah. If you want Mexican food, I don't have to make a very controversial comment. Oh, here she goes. Very controversial. This is, this is how she does. This is Christian. <laughs> but when it comes to Mexican food, I have found that I like Mexican food better here in Arizona than I did in California. Oh, no. And then this is YouTube. So and, they're going to be commenting. They're gonna, the people <laughs> will be commenting yes or no about it's that. It's very exact. authentic. Yeah. See, I grew up in Mexico. Okay. I was born and I was raised in Jalisco, the state of uh, the state of Jalisco. Yes, yes, yes. And um, and I moved to California, and I remember I was never really, you know, yeah. satisfied with the restaurant Mexican food. Obviously, at my yeah. mom's house, that's on point. Yeah. <laughs> and my tia. How, do, how, how does the restaurant food. compare? Yeah, exactly. But here in in Arizona, I feel like the uh, the chefs have really taken taking it upon themselves to find the very authentic from wow. scratch recipes. So and that's a huge credit to Arizona. Oh yeah, and Phoenix trust me, Rising, I'm thinking yeah. about my Mexican food. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's <laughs> what you found when you moved here. Maybe that's I another did. reason that you developed uh, just such a taste, <laughs> no pun intended, a taste for the city. Because five <laughs> years in, you know, you're definitely thinking different things than when you first got here. So now it's home. Oh, it's, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. Tell me about um, you're a cool chick. We know we know that, but you're also like a, on the motorcycle and I you're do. hitting those Arizona roads. Is that is that you? Is that Arizona how? is the perfect place to to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, I um, I started riding my motorcycle when I was here. Um, in fact, I rode here. My helmet's right there. <laughs> I but, saw that. Uh, but yeah, there are so many roads around Phoenix that yeah. you can just jump on the bike 
and go. Yeah, you know, open gorgeous. road. Gorgeous. The desert is so stunning. And is know? that is that your escape? Because you're, I can imagine it's kind of hard to do YouTube videos that much because mm -hmm. some of the stuff's probably really gnarly or, or spicy in some weird way. Uh, is that kind of your way to get away from it, it all? It is very therapeutic. Yeah. I will say that. Once you get out of the city, and you're riding through the mountains because there are mountains. Once you get a little farther north uh, in Arizona, yeah. there's some gorgeous mountains like up in the Flagstaff area. It's very green, very lush. Um, in the valley and around the valley, right. obviously you've got the desert and the gorgeous saguaro cactuses and yeah. all that stuff. But um, but it's really it's it's so beautiful. I want to know what is the key to a good YouTube video. Let's say let's say somebody wants to make that YouTube video. Mm -hmm. I, I believe people want their videos to go viral. <laughs> That's like a thing, right? Every asks us that it's so funny because that is the trillion dollar question now yeah. um, <laughs> which is good because it's giving your guys's job <laughs> more and more work so thank God it's the question and it's so unpredictable mm -hmm. it's very unpredictable there are some viral videos that people tape just because they want to share with their friends and family and suddenly it just picks up and it just goes off the internet like yeah. there's no tomorrow and then there's those that are produced but here's the key the key is that the viewer, the person watching this video, yep. has to have that need, mm -hmm. that visceral need to share it with someone. So if I'm okay. looking at a video and I think it's hilarious, and I'm like, hey, Roddy, right, check right, this right. video out. Yeah. That is key. Okay. That is key because you're going to want to share it. Someone else is going to have that same feeling. Gotcha. That's the key. The question is, how do you... How do you produce that video? Yeah. Maybe how do you, maybe how do you produce that video. Maybe it's you have to just be extremely authentic. You know what I yeah. mean? It's like what is passionate about me? You know, like even what we talked about on the phone yesterday. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, well, coming from LA and coming to Arizona and how that feels. Those were authentic conversations. So I, I imagine if we did a YouTube video about that, that would that would light on fire. So authenticity is key. Yeah. There's no With doubt about it. Everything people... you do, including radio, hello? <laughs> <laughs> With all of it, yeah. Yeah, because imagine us trying to be fake on the air, people would hate it. And um, people connect to that you know yes. and, and in fact that's a huge part of our show now is trying to figure out and decipher yeah. which videos are real and which videos are fake and there is a formula mm. that we have gotten really good at we've become the experts yeah, yeah. on figuring out whether a video is real or fake and we've actually successfully identified uh, before the rest of the world oh, has like a whether bogus. a video is a fake or not yeah <laughs> and so we feel pretty good about that that's why I'm saying Watch right this minute, yo. How long does it take for you guys to do the um, compiling of the videos? Like, is that like a six hour process or? So it's, no, we have people that go in and check into the studio at 7 a.m. Oh, okay. And they go till like two in the morning, but we're all really always on the look. Yeah. We're on the lookout for the greatest yeah. video that we see. So whenever we're out, even if it's right here, if I just happen to see yeah. a story that I really like, then we enter into a database. We have a database that has thousands of videos. I'm in pretty it. sure the, the the undiscovered best videos you guys haven't caught yet, because you guys caught it all, is um, all the videos that are on the Hot 97.5 website. I'm pretty, there is no doubt. In fact, you guys sure. just showed me one. I'm pretty, yeah. You guys showed yeah, our me one. Station it's power. hilarious. There it goes. It's going to be on the show. Look at you. See how that works out? <laughs> okay, okay. It is. If, if we find it funny and we think it's yeah. quirky and goofy yeah. then yeah. that's the type of story we like to tell yeah. you know because we we love good we love people that have really good senses of humor yeah we so. all have access to youtube it's just a matter of who does what with it so and you don't get mad so at us because we're so amazing freedom. yeah what yeah. uh what did you come up with information here well for some reason it's not coming up but i will say this so one of the videos that we have on the show this week is of this guy aaron marino and he he considers himself like the alpha male mm -hmm. of youtube right and okay. so he put together a video that teaches men how to be gentlemanly when they're eating an ice cream cone. Okay. Say they're out on a date. Okay. You know, and you apparently have no social skills and that's why you need to see this video. He and teaches he's alpha you. alpha male, so he's like rah, 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 rah. Okay, okay. Or so he says. <laughs> but yeah, he teaches you how to, uh, how to properly eat an ice cream cone so that you look proper to your lady that you're with and you don't end up looking like a goof. Except, we like goof. So in the show, as I'm trying to tell the guys uh -huh. how to do this and how to eat this freaking ice cream cone, the guys just basically eat the ice cream cone in any way they want. Ollie doesn't eat it because he's got a very strict diet, but Nick just goes all in and yeah. you can see it in the video. It's Hilarious. He's a dork. All right, we'll check it out now. All right, listen up, gentlemen, because I've got a little lesson for you. This one coming from the I Am Alpha.
Alpha M YouTube channel, Aaron Marino. The ice cream cone. He's going to teach you how to properly and like a gentleman eat an ice cream cone. You finally had the cojones to ask out that spicy senorita in accounting. First of all, before we get to his first step in his lesson, don't go calm. <laughs> Can't imagine what anyone would say. You were spicy. <laughs> no, the only thing that's spicy is your food. Senoritas have attitude, especially when you tell them they're spicy. If you're going to eat an ice cream cone, you need to know how to do it like a gentleman. This is the incorrect way of doing it. Huh? Huh? The straight up and down long tongue. <laughs> the bite. Also not appropriate. Wait, hang on. So we can't lick it. We can't bite it. Yes. What can we do? From the cone, you're going up and diagonal. So it looks like this. Uh, don't ever close your eyes when you're licking. Uh, Keep them open. Ice cream, please. What? Uh, <laughs> there's no escape from the sweets in this day. I know. These yeah. are chocolate covered, so um, it's a little different. This is the proper etiquette if you're eating an ice cream with your wife. Honey, would you like one? Oh, you're so sweet. Trust me, you're getting lucky. Well, since I wasn't really paying attention to Mr. Alpha M, I'll just go about it like I normally do. No! Oh! That'll get you a second date. <laughs> <laughs> Swallow, Nick. <laughs> you now know how to eat an ice cream cone like a gentleman. <laughs> so this next video is of this uh, mountain biker and he's about to go on a trail, but the trail ends at a ramp that has a drop to train tracks. Okay. Right? And a big old gap between the ramp and the other side of this gap that drops thousands of feet. It's not that. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, check it out because he actually manages to make it over and his reaction is priceless. Let's go for a very nice, relaxing ride through the trees of British Columbia. I don't believe you even slightly, Calderon. Nice mountain bike trip. We got our rider here, Yasuki Yamamoto. He's gaining some speed. Oh, but wait, 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 slow down, hit the brakes. Oh! It seems the trail comes to an end. Abruptly, he lines up and goes for it again. And the second time he grabs fistfuls of brakes and is like, God. You have to put yourself in the right place. Yes, I can do it and just go. Yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna go for it. I would suggest maybe a little lift. You know, like to get planes off the ground. <laughs> just in case. Well, he's gonna have that lift right at the end of this ramp on his third attempt. <laughs> like a scene from E.T., he goes <laughs> launching over that train bed, lands on the other side. And of course, there's celebration. Yeah! Yeah! Elation. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah, you didn't die. Yeah! Best thing you did was uh, phone home. <laughs> now, now, the interesting thing about this is this particular gap between Whistler and Pemberton is known as the Kenny Smith Gap. This isn't the first time somebody's done this. In fact, it was done years ago and named the Kenny Smith Gap. Yasuki Yamamoto is ecstatic because he did it too. So here we go. Yeah! 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 yeah. <laughs> um, okay. A little, <laughs> little cheesy, a little corny, but it was very funny. Um, so that's kind of what we'll be seeing on right this minute in its, um, what season? Fifth season? It's, uh, we are entering our sixth season in September. September yes. 12th is the premiere okay, great. of uh, season six. It's been amazing. And now we're going to be airing across the country on ABC, which is, oh. which is pretty remarkable. Here in Phoenix, ABC 15 at 12.15 a.m., but DVR it if you don't stay up that late. That's the big key, though, is like people don't realize this, this show that's nationally syndicated uh, is being produced and taped and, yeah. and pretty much, uh, you know, done by you Arizona locals, yeah. which is so crazy, it's which is really, why we brought you here, you know? Yeah, it's really, it's exciting to be part of such a gem of a show, yeah. such a successful production we could that relate was... because our show is also a gem we're we're just, yeah. we're just like it's just like amazing this uh, i agree god this arizona thing girl <laughs> i'm telling you phoenix is rising. really rising it's got a lot of talent mm -hmm. and i can't wait to see what else comes you know obviously your your radio show yeah. right this minute but yep. there's a lot that 
this city has to offer so much. I love being here. Very good. We'll discover more. Like I said, I should, should put together a blog called like Finding Phoenix or Filling Phoenix. I gotta, gotta yeah. figure out what I want to do. Will you jump on my motorcycle? We can ride to some of these places and you can ride. Oh them. God, I'll probably. You can be my cupcake. I'll cry like a little girl, <laughs> but I don't know. Somehow, if we do, Gadger, I'm sure we'll rig some camera. <laughs> so it, it will happen, You I know, guess. we could also do a sidecar. <laughs> you can come along on my sidecar. Oh, how fun. Okay. <laughs> I've been trying to get someone on my sidecar. Nobody wants to that come on my sidecar. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Actually, I like that. We're going to keep on talking because we definitely love Christian and thank you for supporting us and right this minute. Oh, I'm excited we'll be to supporting. be here. We'll, we'll keep you around the radio station every blue moon. You come in, come come interview with us. Let us know the new videos because we want to stay in touch with all the social media stuff too. I love all right? it.